Hi, I'm Eric with My Boring Channel, and I show people how to make websites. Three things I want to say about this real quick. Number one, you don't have to be technically minded to do this. Anyone can do it. I'm a teacher and I'm going to show you how. Number two, we're going to accomplish this for less than the cost of a latte per month. That's cheap, people. Anybody can afford that. Even a high school student who doesn't have a job, who bums money off their friends. And number three, we're going to be using WordPress, so our website is going to look professional. So, go ahead and put your doubts aside, and let's get started. Okay, in order to have a website, you got to have two things. You got to have a domain name, which is yourname.com on the internet or yourname.net or yourname.org. That's your domain name. And you also have to have a web host. That's a company that stores your website files. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a domain name. Now there are a couple things I want you to remember about getting a domain name. Number one, you want your domain name to be as short and as memorable as possible so people can remember it. A long drawn out domain name is not a good thing. Number two, try to use a .com or .net or .org TLD. Um, you don't have to, but .com and .net, those TLDs are very recognizable and people like what they recognize. So those are two tips I'll give you about domain names. Now, if you want to use a different TLD like .expert or .me or whatever, there's a lot of really cool ones out there nowadays that are very personalized. Um, feel free to use one of those TLDs as well. It's just my preference and my recommendation to go with .com or .net or .org. But like I say, use whatever TLD you want. Uh, the most important thing on your website is going to be your content. So, okay, I've said enough. Let's go ahead and get a domain name. The first thing you need to do is head on over to Namecheap.com. Namecheap is the registrar we're going to use to purchase our domain name. The first thing I would recommend doing is signing up for an account with Namecheap. So click sign up here and then go ahead and fill out all this information and then click create account and continue. Once you are all signed up with Namecheap, go ahead on back to the home page. Since I already have an account with Namecheap, I'm just going to sign in here. Okay, here I am on the Namecheap home page and you can see right up here that I am signed in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is search for the domain name that I want. I'm going to try to find something short and memorable and I'm going to try to use the .com TLD. So let's go with boringchannel.com. I already have my boringchannel.com. Uh, boringchannel.com is not available. So I'm going to search again. How about boringtips.com? And we can see that this domain is available. So that's the domain I'm going to buy. Okay, since this is the domain that I want to purchase, I'm going to go ahead and click this little cart right here. And now the domain name has been added to my cart. So I'm going to click view cart here. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this page. Domain registration is going to be for one year and it's going to be $10.69 for the year. Okay, it's set to auto renew, which means that Namecheap will automatically bill your credit card and renew the domain name for you. If you don't want them to do that, click that off like so. Now, you may want to sign up for more than one year. For example, you may want to do 10 years. And that's great because uh, that means you won't have to mess with it for a long time. For me, for now, I'm just going to go for one year. Now, what is this? Who is guard down here? This is privacy protection. This is very, very important because it means, because if you have this activated, then people will not be able to get your personal details by searching your domain name. If you don't get privacy protection on your domain name, guess what, folks? People can look up your domain name online and get all your personal information like your address, phone number, and all that because it's associated with your domain name and it's public information. You don't want that, so you're going to want WhoisGuard. Now, you get a free year with Namecheap and then after that it's going to cost $2.88 per year. So you're going to add that to your cost of your domain name. So we'll set that to auto renew as well. Now let's look down a little bit further. We see some other things. We're going to ignore all that for now. And we're just going to click confirm order. Okay, now we're on this screen. I would recommend scrolling down and verifying that all your information is correct. 
Once you've done that and you're confident that your information is all correct, go ahead and click pay now. And that's all there is to it. You have now purchased a domain name. Okay, so now that we're done with this, there are just a couple more things. Go ahead and scroll to the bottom where it says next steps. We're not gonna set up our DNS now because we need a web host before we do that. I'm gonna show you how to get a web host in the very next video that you're gonna watch right after this one. But for now, what we're gonna do is activate who is guard. So go ahead and click get started here. Now on this page, there are specific instructions and they tell you exactly how to enable who is guard for your domain. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click dashboard. Then I'm gonna click domain list. I'm gonna to go to boringtips.com and take a peek and it shows me that who is guard is already active. So apparently I don't need to do that. But I do think it's a good idea to come in here and make sure that WhoIsGuard is indeed active. Let's go ahead and click on Manage and you can see how to activate or deactivate it. Now we can see right here that we can either turn WhoIsGuard on or off. And it's good that it's on. You are now the proud owner of a domain name. What we need to do now is sign up for web hosting so that we can connect this domain name to our new web host. Okay, step one is complete. You now have your own personal address on the internet. Step two is signing up for web hosting and then we will connect this domain name to your new web host. That's coming up in the next video so I suggest you head on over and watch it. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you learned a lot.